Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and today we have a guest instructor. I'm with Master Goldsmith Robert Ackerman of LearnJewelryDesign.org and he's here to explain the Datto Laser Welder to us. Hi Robert, thanks hey, for joining John, us. Hey John, how are you? So, <clears throat> we're plugged in and it's running, correct? That's correct, and it has all these fabulous colored lights and laser, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's ready to rock. So do you want to show us how it works? Sure, of course. So, uh, yeah, so you've got the laser unit actually in here. You've got two oculars for that are that are adjustable to the interocular distance of your eyes. It changes with, with people. Um, you've got the actual chamber in here where the action takes place. The laser shoots down and you can you can find the position down a crosshairs as you'll see. Um, you've got a foot pedal, a little click that goes because uh, when it shoots, you will see the, the, uh, in the ocular, it'll go black for just a, that fraction of a second with the click because that's a safety that you have in every laser welder to close the oculars off so you don't uh, expose the eyes to the potentially harmful laser radiation. So I'm actually hand holding the pieces yes. inside of here. That's what these, these, this, this curtain is for that you can easily go in and out and hold your piece in your, in your hands. Okay, so what happens hands. if I slip and I burn myself? Not a big deal. It's uh, a little pinprick. It, okay. It's not painful. <laughs> it's maybe not the most pleasant thing in the world, and it smells bad. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad. No, 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 no. It's not like burning your steak or something like that. So let me step out of the way and let you show the camera exactly how you, how you work with the piece of equipment. All right, well, uh, let me just grab a chair and uh, sit down and show you what's happening here. So, I've got a workpiece here that, you know, that I'm going to weld these two items together. And when you sit down, be sure that you have a good posture that you can reach in. And this is activating it. And let me get a view onto where I am here and then I can start to laser away here. So you see the crosshairs here <coughs> and you've got to position your uh, welding rod which in this case is a piece of very thin hair thin silver wire and when the lights go out like it's about now you see that was a shot here. Now that's when the shutter has to close a safety issue to avoid, you know, to keep your eyes safe. And from here on in, it's just adding those shots. So Robert, thank you for that explanation. Yeah, well, thanks for, for letting me have the opportunity to uh, show it to you. So yeah, so the dado in that case is, is uh, all these laser welders are really something for people who do a lot of assemblies. Okay. Or it, because you saw you can tack something and then take it into the fire you knowing it won't move oh, okay? okay so you can also uh, if it's not too severe you can handle certain amounts of porosity quite well if it's sort of a borderline casting all right uh, you can also rebuild things like retipping uh, prong head uh, prong settings or also uh, I know people that do very, uh, that, that very successfully resuscitated, say, uh, bead settings, bright cuts or built, rebuilt beads. So, so this will not transfer heat into a gemstone then? If you don't hit it, but if you, if you hit the stone, the stone is toast. Okay. okay. <laughs> Good That's, to know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and basically the way these laser welders work is they generate the energy, the light, the laser light, which melts the metal, okay? And you have some diagrams here. Right, and so it, what it, it lets you um, control two parameters. Okay. The intensity of the laser, the amount of energy that, uh, that you, you, that m to melt the metal with, and the width of the beam, okay? So a narrow beam typically has more kick into depth, okay? And a wider beam spreads the same amount of energy over a larger surface. So typically laser welders, routine laser welders will use this first to get the, some penetration into the metal and then clean up as best they can that you have less to file and oh. save on your precious metals and your labor with the wider uh, beam later on. 
Now, is this machine good for silver, gold, and platinum? It is good for silver and gold, and I've also used it a little bit on copper. And silver is the known uh, caveat always with all laser welders is because of its high, high reflectivity, silver is probably best always uh, darkened with, say, a pr waterproof marker. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't reflect all the energy away and you use more of the light. And uh, platinum, uh, is, you can probably do platinum too, I haven't used it yet, but you can do it. It does not, however, have the, the dado, and this is probably why its price point is so advantageous, it does not have that third parameter that the larger laser units have, that is that you can uh, keep the laser on for a couple of fractions of milliseconds longer or shorter. That's the third parameter in there to get deeper penetration which of course also is a risk factor because you can blow through your metal if it's very thin. So, so. is that making noises telling us we need to get to work? It's basically, yes, it's, <laughs> okay. it's eager. <laughs> so would you say that this is a good choice for a small shop or an educational environment? I think, I think this is an excellent choice for uh, starting up. Okay. Because with two parameters, essentially, it's always easier to work with two. With three, things get, get exponentially more complex. It's very user-friendly. I mean, it's extremely user-friendly. Uh, uh, if you go through the, uh, there's a, an online video, a uh, manual video, which basically, it's totally common sense if you keep the basic physics in mind. Okay. So would you recommend this for somebody as uh, a jeweler who does a bit of casting, a lot of fabrication, and has a small studio, is this a good option? This is ideal, actually, for that, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, that's what you're looking for. If you don't want to have a, an additional car payment equivalent with one of the larger uh, units on your hands, because they, they are quite cost, they're quite pricey. So we're talking <coughs> about a difference of about $4,100 versus $20,000. Roughly, yeah, no, just under 20000 are the ones that come in that uh, then have the cap capability of uh, having, you know, where you can actually adjust the time, uh, the, the timing of the, or the length of time of your laser beam. Right. So that comes, I guess, at that price. But this is also, would you say, good for students to learn on? It's excellent because you've actually only got two instead of the three parameters. So it's excellent to get Definitely as an entry level to get started on it. Okay. Yeah. So your overall review would be how many stars? Well, for the purpose, five, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you have it, the Datto Laser Welder. So don't forget that you can follow Robert on his website at www.learnjewelrydesign.org. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thanks, John. <laughs>